Welcome back to another episode, everybody. Sorry, it's been a while, but I've finally moved out of Dunedin, walked away with a degree. We're back in the North Island. We're back in the Lakes District, my old stomping ground. We've rocked up to Lake Rotuiti. I've got the kayak on the roof, about to chuck in the water. Plan is to fish that change of light and hopefully come away with some kai in the form of tasty rainbow trout. Fingers crossed it's a good day. I'm absolutely fizzing. Let's see how we go. I've come back to the beautiful Lake Rotuiti in the Rotorua Lakes District. Known for its deep coastal drop-offs and clean water, it's the perfect place to find healthy trout. Earlier in the year I got into some fat rainbow shenanigans, fingers crossed I find some summer slammers. I'm launching the kayak from the small Duato Bay Township, a popular hatchery trout release site. Righto team, so we're on the water. There's beautiful fish splashing, lots of surface stuff going on all around me. I suspect they're chasing smelt. So I've got about a, just about a 4K paddle to my spot. So you can't troll within the first 200 meters of Ruatu Bay. So what I'm going to do is I might as well flick out a lure once I'm past this. Hug this kind of headland area just where the drop off is and troll a lure until I get to that jigging spot. So I've just got a red Tassie Devil on with some lead line. So we'll get out of the no fish zone and then we'll be away laughing. Just found a bit of sign right on the little um, drop off and the fish is just congregating there. Big smelt clouds on this pounder. And just like this, we're logged into a fish. Always got a bit of fight in them. See what we've got. We are after a feed. It's not very often I do take trout. But if this guy's legal, he's gonna have to come up. It's just kind of seen down there. It's putting up a good fight. Feels like it's got a little bit of weight to him. But it's just always so much fun on this ultra light gear, man. So you can see how beautiful the scenery is. And we've got a fish on. Just go keep that tension on. Oh, and he's a beauty. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Yep, now he's waking up. Oh, he's stunning, man. Right on the bottom fly. Nice little jigging movements. Oh ho ho. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on buddy. Oh stunning fish. Look at the condition on that guy. Goodness me. Check that out. Beautiful. Fresh out the drink. Well to eat tea trout. First thing in the morning, smelt on, eating smelt. Decided to choose that bottom fly, a little bit more like a bully or something. And he is a good looking fish. That's crazy. 63 centimeter fish. First one of the day, not a bad one at all. How good. Well to eat tea providing. Check this out. Just came up. And look, he just spat out a wee little 
whole smelt. <laughs> Crazy. So that's what we're feeding. They're feeding on. So it's the right choice to go for the old uh, smelt flies. And that's just something like that. You've got a wee Parsons Glory. As you can see, very similar, same size, similar colours, works a treat. Epic battle straight off the bat, found some sign, followed the fish. Um, it kind of slowed down after a while, so I'm going to keep heading out. Lines back out to troll while we're on the way there. Just a reminder, if you do want to come out and do this, you can only use one rod at a time, so don't be double trolling or something if you're just by yourself. So yeah, that sun's come up a bit, so it's probably a little bit unlikely that we'll get one on the troll. It's usually an early morning thing. There's still trout chasing smelt in the shallows. You can see them splashing on the surface, so who knows, I chucked on a Rapala, so let's see if something wants to grab it. Just got hit on the drop. Still there? Yeah, oh, there he is. Oh, wow. He just boosted up to the surface and jumped. Over the other side. Oh, he's coming up again. Yahoo! Oh, game off. Bugger. Oh, great fish. Ah, what a shame, eh? Right. Took me on the drop and then the big jump. Couldn't tell what was happening, I had to zoom in so fast. Bugger. It was a long time of nothing as well, so that just makes it even worse. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just, when I like to scout out new areas, I just chuck a couple um, colors out on the lead line. Make sure that wherever you are, you just wanna get that lure right down as deep as you can without getting it snagged. That's right where the fish are at the moment. I can see them on the sounder, so you wanna get them right in front of their face, maximize your chances of getting that strike. And then I'm just following that drop off, that change in depth is where they all seem to hang out. In the mornings, they'll probably be right up in the shallows chasing snails and whatnot. And then after that, um, the day heats up quite a bit more and they want to shoot down for that cooler water. So you always want to patrol those drop-offs because they usually hold a lot of fish. Let's see if we can hit another one. I've just hit weed again. It's getting slightly shallower trail. It's a bit more sign and a bit shallower one. Yeah, I think we've just hit weed. Oh no, there might be a fish on. Awesome. Yeah, we're on. Damn, we didn't put up any fight <laughs> until the end. It's just a little fella. There goes the acrobats. Yeah, who? Beautiful little rainbow. Pop, pop straight out the mouth. They actually got a funny back. Looks like it's been hurt as a as a fingerling. Yeah, it's about sitting on 42 centimetres. Beautiful little fish. The classic starting to get more and more fish coming on board the kayak. And 
all the other boaters just start getting closer and closer with their big noisy engines uh, which isn't ideal for the fishing as you can probably imagine another fish on same spot bit loose in that drag it's a little bit tight feels like a slightly better one this time see what we've got. They're all congregating right here in the shallows. We're only in eight meters, sorry, six meters of water here, right next to the drop-off. Just trolling a little rapala. Bibbed Lord just doing so much better than the the old Tassie Devils were. But you also pay for them too, don't you? Definitely got some pull. Wonder if he's got no. Oh no, no, he's still on. Something's not right. He's in the weed. That's what it is. going on here it's, it might have actually come off and just left me in the weed. On a day it was supposed to be really rainy hence why I'm wearing a rain jacket I didn't see a bit of it instead we got hit with sunshine not a breath of wind came away with two beautiful fish in the chill pod to be fair should have been four if I wasn't so clumsy but hey I guess I'll have to come back Thanks for watching everybody, please hit that subscribe button and there'll be more videos coming out this summer. Let's go, tight lines. Literally I've just pulled back after my fish on Lake Rotoiti, kayaks here, and look what I've come across. It's a catfish. Damn, it must have come from the lake, I can't see why someone would have brought a catfish over and just dumped it here. That is not a good sign if there's catfish living and then showing up in our lakes. It's not on. Check clean dry, guys.